it's February 16th. And we're live on twitch.tv slash delinquent news with day two of Metro Exodus. Figured we'd start out the stream by having some coffee with Anna. It's coffee time with Anna. Alright, let's post these announcements. Got my coffee. She's got a nicer look than I do. So far, so good with the game. Unfortunately, I had to rent it. So this is a rented copy on PS4 Pro. It's been going all right. I had a couple of hiccups yesterday. One of which was my own fault. Another one was a funny kind of glitch that we enjoyed checking out on the train. Um, they got some new, oh, like, more like some open world kind of stuff going on. So that's cool, that's a nice change. Rather than it being all too linear. So there's a lot of exploring you can do. You can find a lot of loot through exploring. Yesterday on one save we explored a lot and then I went back on my save and we kind of went straight to the objective. So there are different ways, I guess different approaches to getting to where you need to go. But it looks like there are some times where you're gonna have to progress in a certain way. Um, yesterday what I ran into was there's this area where you have to take a boat to a church. And because I couldn't figure out how to get the boat to work at first, I decided to just run over there and see how that went. Um, so it turns out you can make your way to the church without the boat, but then it breaks the mission. So you gotta be careful with how you approach the missions. Make sure you do them as intended. Otherwise, you might have to go back on your save like I did. Hi, Goonie. Hi, Majid. Hi, Ray. Yeah, Metro's good. How are you doing? Yeah, it's fun. I'm enjoying it. I really love TV shows and games that are based on books. So even though I haven't actually, unfortunately, read Metro, I have read enough and seen enough that Usually, a game or a show or a movie comes out pretty good when it's based on a book, you know? So, at least I did get to play the first two games before this last week. Um, I played 2033 and Last Light. So it's pretty nice to see, you know, the next part of the story and kind of have a pretty good idea of what's going on in the story. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, it's based on some novels several novels. Now from what I hear, they do end up departing quite a bit from the novel in terms of the story, but I think that's cool, you know. I think it's cool they're taking it their own way, you know, taking some artistic license. And you kind of have to, otherwise you're going to be restricted to certain endings and stuff, so yeah, they're taking some artistic license, and I think that's neat too, to go and mold a story that works well in a game and then when you go and read the book you can see the differences so that's cool yeah I didn't buy it Majed I rented it I rented it that's what that's what the game looks like when you rent it if you buy it it doesn't come in a clear case like that <laughs> If you buy it, you know, it comes in a case with artwork on it, you know? So, yeah. I couldn't get the game, but at least I could rent it, so I'm feeling pretty happy and lucky about that. Maybe I'll be able to buy it on sale sometime in the future. Or who knows? Maybe they'll get around to my request at some point. So that'd be cool. The command for today is exclamation. Did I make it exclamation metro? Exclamation exodus maybe? Probably exodus, huh? Oh, I did not make a command for it. I thought I did. I 
I guess we'll make one. Let's make a command. Developed by 4A Games, published by Deep Silver. Okay. Adcom. Exodus. And let's get a link. I guess I'll send the link to their actual website instead of to Steam. Let's do that, because it's three games. Here we go. Happy Saturday, Jeep. Head out to get food for the kids. Okay, the dogs. <laughs> okay, cool. Glad you could stop by for a bit before you gotta go and get some food. Alright, so there's the command, exclamation to exodus. First person shooter video game developed by 4A, published by Deep Silver. It's the third installment in the Metro video game series, based on Dmitry Glukovsky's novels. It follows the events in Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light. There's the link if you're interested in learning more about these three games. Did I like the first ones? Yeah. Yeah, they were good. They were good. I would say extremely strong atmosphere and story, as you would expect from games based on books, right? Um, the combat is very good and very fun, but it's certainly not something like um, like Bioshock. You know, it's not like an extremely developed combat system where you can. You have a lot of options open to you, but I don't think that was their focus. But it's still decent and fun. It's good. But it's not going to be like, you know, Bioshock or Dishonored or anything like that. Or Wolfenstein. They brew real lasagna. <laughs> That's funny. Atmosphere, twenty these dark places everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of underground. Sometimes you could be above ground. It was a lot of underground, creepy, kind of scary situations. Definitely uh, on the horror survival side of games. Also, you know what I keep forgetting to say? There's different difficulties. I mean, I've been playing on normal difficulty, so I'll bet you play it on harder difficulty, it's going to be that challenge you're looking for, you know? So I have been recommending to people, if you're experienced with first-person shooter, horror, survival-type games, definitely play it on the harder difficulty. Otherwise, you might feel like the game's too easy or something like that, you know? But I think they did a good job of building in, um, you know, the different difficulties and turning it into the game you're looking for based on, you know, how you want to play it, so I think that's good. In this game, well, in the previous games, you only had normal and hardcore, but within normal and hardcore, you could choose to make the game easier or more difficult. In this game, they have the same thing, but you can go even easier. You can go super story-based, you know? <laughs> basically just the story. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Hope y'all are having a good day. Hopefully you can hear the game okay. Continue. The locals were none too happy to see us here. Looks like after the war, they created a veritable technophobic cult here. And its leader managed to trap me in their half-flooded church. I have no idea what they would have done to me had they actually captured me. 
What? But with the aid from a woman called Katya, the cultists have been keeping imprisoned here. I managed to give them the slip. Luckily, I was able oh. to avoid excessive casualties in the process. Katya mentioned an engineer called Crest, who's hiding from the cultists in the port. He could help us fix the Aurora and cross the bridge. Now seems to be a good time to pay him a visit. Okay, cool. I did manage to avoid killing people. Or excessive casualties. Apparently that's the difference. Ro told me that he didn't manage to do that. And then Anna, if, if you kill people, Anna will tell you you killed too many people or something. So it looks like there's going to be some differences, but I don't know how significant those are going to be. Hopefully that's how you affect the ending. From what I understand, in order to get different ending in Last Light, it's a lot of work. It's very difficult to do. You have to know what you're going for, apparently. It's not something you can just guess. So we'll see how the different endings come out in this game. Loading takes a little bit. <laughs> Technophobic cult. It's loading. Here, I'll show you what it's doing. See that number counting thing is... I don't know. Sometimes it just takes a little while. Hi, Ro. Have you played much more? How far are you now? Alright, I think it's going now. There it goes. Oh, I just turned the camera on after an hour. But no, we're not getting enough views lately, unfortunately. I can't even do my bounties. It's kind of rough. Ho hopefully we'll be able to do a bounty today. If not, we're gonna have to make some. I don't. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Do bounties without getting paid, I guess. Bounties for free. Where is it going? Okay. I guess we'll just head toward the X. And we'll do that by. Returning this way. Go on, Anomaly. Get out of here. Alright, here we go. What? I didn't have my mask on? The heck? What? Back to RDR? Yeah. Yeah, I want to soon. Definitely. With the update. Mm. Yeah, we're tired. Okay, so... This is this is back. Okay. No dice. Step arms all over her with these rugged charms. Do I need? Uh, I wonder if I can make a heal. We seem to go through heals like crazy. You 
been doing side stuff. Okay, cool. Is that how the game is? I think that's how the game is. Yeah. Um, you know, when you take damage, it you'll get like red around the screen kind of thing. Hi, Judo. Alright, let me know if the game's too dark. It might be too dark. Okay, did we go too far? I think we went too far. It does look a little dark. Hopefully that's okay. The use of boats, I know. All the way east? What? No, I don't think so. Oh, you mean, what do you mean? Like, where those skeleton faces are? Yeah, I cleared out some camps over there. Or if that's what you mean. I was exploring and running around. So, uh, see, I just took damage, so. We've got blood. <laughs> Your company built Tim Sweetie's house? Cool. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Here's our safe house. Ah! Oh shit. Oh. It's gonna kill me. No. Try again. Stupid anomaly is killing me. Hopefully that means we get our heal back. Oh, I didn't use a hill. Yeah, the game does look really beautiful. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's switch to shotgun. Yeah, I rented this on um, PS4. I don't know if you can rent a PC game. I doubt it. I guess the way you can rent it is you try it for two hours and then return it, right? <laughs> That's the only way to rent. Don't want to get 
the attention of the damn anomaly. What does that mean? The gun noises are too loud. Should I turn down the SFX? One little bush stopped me. Hi, Rafi. <laughs> All right. Great. We have to go behind here. here. Hey! Oh cool. We found somebody. Start stroking his face. That's a weird, bro. The game seems darker today. Are you guys able to see it okay? Zombies. Oh, I'm surprised that didn't hurt me. I thought for sure it would. Yeah, bro, you're weird. You're being weird. Um... That's really beautiful. Characters talk a lot. Zombie apocalypse. Ooh! I shot the brick! They threw a brick, I shot it. Oh my god, they're throwing stuff at me. Where am I supposed to freaking go? He's like, yeah, I'll cover you. Good shooting. He's not covering me at all. He's not 
helping me. They don't drop bullets or nothing. They just keep multiplying. My precious bullet! A giant nope in the water. I can't shoot right now. Are you the boss? It was the boss. Alright, where's my loot? No loot! Let's see if we can find any. What's up, green leaf? <laughs> I guess the game kind of wants you to. Oh, here we go. All these mushrooms are. The game kind of wants you to make bullets. <sighs> the plants are materials. Alright, we'll see you later, Ro. <laughs> You're not being weirdo, I'm just kidding. We'll see you later. Okay. Yeah, I like this. Molotov! Call him Draggy. <laughs> oh my god. Everyone's happy today, yep. I think we're pretty happy with this game. There's a lot out right now. There's Resident Evil 2 DLC, which I haven't checked out yet. What else is there? A couple of other games. I forget what. I can't shoot today, man. I don't know what's up with that. of plants. I have to aim for the body, I guess, and waste some bullets. Press L1 to fix them. Oh! Tape! I have tape! Neat. Alright. We're picking up all kinds of material. Trophy earned Martian. Yeah, Far Cry, Jump Force, Crackdown, yeah, yeah. I couldn't remember what they all were. There's a lot. <laughs> Something for everybody. <laughs> 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 
Seems like it was worth it. There's a lot of stuff down here. Oh yeah, Anthem too. Yeah. For all the special people. That's right. See you later, Jeep. Say hi to the doggies for us. Oh, tricks. So does that mean you can't get that one? Oh, I see. How do we get to the ones on the other side? He just died. Ooh, plant people. Yeah, DMC and Sekiro. Great. The heck. Could I have harvested them before they exploded? Seemed like I could have. Alright, let's try to sneak up on it. No? Cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Sekiro. Daria, you were right. They really do grow at an anomalously fast rate. I just identified two of the newborn litter we ringed last year, and they're adolescent now. This is amazing. Pack the recorder and the batteries. We're setting up shop here. It's a perfect observation spot. By the way, while you're at it, give Mikhail a rabies shot. He got bitten by one. Insist it's nothing serious, but just in case. Lucky I persuaded him to go fetch the equipment. I'll be waiting here. Hi, Wombat. I did harvest it. All right. Let's see what we can make. Cool. How do I make bullets? How do I clean it? You can only do that at the bench, huh? I forgot to do that. How's the game so far? It's good. I'm really liking it a lot. Okay, so we're outside, but I don't think we're finished in here. Charge your flashlight. Oh, pump the charger. Cool. Now, how do we go back to my gun? Huh. Okay.
Hi, Laggy. How do I get to the other side? You can't go in the water in this game. This way, so jackpot springs. Raise your glasses, raise your guns. Cheers, jackpot. Thank you so much for that sub with Twitch Prime. Thank you. Sorry, my alerts didn't aren't showing. I'm gonna turn it on now. Thank you so much. All right, alerts are on. Or should be. Exploring. We're exploring. Looking for all the best loot. <laughs> Character's getting tired from all this running. Bye, Laggy. See you later. Ah, uh, cheers, Jackpot. My day is going great. Thanks. I hope yours is too. Yep. Okay. Take the crane. Let's climb back up there. Proceed forward. You can only make bullets at the bench. That would make sense. Come up here. <laughs> you pretty amazing, Bratuha. That was crazy. Those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers I never have a chance against them. You? You just cut through them, Vle. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Crest, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me, well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, блядь. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. <laughs> Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> Hi, Eagle. Anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had. Never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. 
Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Good weekend, baboon. Yeah, yeah. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. When you Katya hear an from audio the church cue, should know better. I've never been to the bridge zoom. myself. There to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal blip. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. There, starfish <laughs> live there, you know. Stupid bastards. Put a marker. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open places. campfire. That's funny. Now, come on, let me show you my home now. Yeah, I would do that if I wasn't streaming, Lucky, but I'm streaming, so it's better for most people if we keep it on English. Some people are just listening to the stream, so I think it's better. Here is my game. And this is where I live. Not a palace. One. Oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired. My home is your home. I made a workbench to tinker on. If you need ammo, okay, cool. grenades, workbench. there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like. It. Can't carry all the shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Hi, Pevy. Repair my gas mask. Cool. Oh, anyhow, gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty face. I'm 